What's good, Team Exclusive, and welcome back to some more FIFA 21 content. Today, we are back with something a little different today. It's a video I've wanted to do for a while. It's taken me a while to create these graphics, actually, but um, basically, the premise of this video is um, we're going to be talking about 11 icons I'd love to see in the future FIFA games. As you can see behind me, we've got, hopefully, a full team of question marks. Now, these are going to be revealed in due course. These, of course, are the icons that we're going to be going through Um not all of them are their correct positions because I think I screwed up on a few of those. But basically, the idea is to have 11 icons in each position and we'll go through them all in due course. I've got two bonus icons that we'll be going through momentarily. Um, but first things first, if you've got any icons you'd love to see in the future FIFA games or you think uh, players you, you enjoyed seeing when you're growing up, for example, or players you, you enjoyed watching that aren't already in FIFA, um, drop them in the comment section below. I'd love to do more of these. I've got loads of, I've got a whole list of like hundreds of icons that uh, I think have potential to be icons in FIFA. Um, so I want to do more of these and you could say it's a little bit early to do, you know, icon based predictions for the next FIFA. But um, like I said, I want to do more of these. So it's going to be a running series over the course of FIFA 21 and of course on this channel. So it's, it. it you know, I think it's better to start early and then we'll have some content to fall back on when FIFA kind of dies in August. So, yeah, should be good fun. But let's get into the first one. Now, the, the first two really are the most controversial. And it's just it was something that curiosity got the better of me. And I was like, what would their card look like when they retire? It's two players that are coming up to potential retirement in the next, I'd say, Maybe three years. I don't know. Maybe, maybe they won't retire that early. But we'll say possibly in the next three years, these players might retire. And uh, we could see icon cards for them in FIFA, which would be pretty special, of course. First one popping up on your screen is Lionel Messi. Um, like, as you can see, I've obviously got the base middle and prime on the screen. Uh, he would have an insane card. Bear in mind, ratings and stats are all made up by myself. So it's probably pretty out of whack so don't pay too much attention to that it's just kind of a bit of a um you know a bit of a, a starting point for where i think you know the card might or what the card might look like in fifa um bear in mind you've got to think what what would ea do for for his card and you know having having his prime icon moments his prime might not be that good but either way he would have a ridiculous card in fifa there's no denying that at all uh, i've given 91 as base 95 as his mid 90 as prime it's it's difficult because he is, in my opinion, joint best player in the world. So, like, you know, how much better can he really get? Unless they start giving 100 rated cards out, I think that's probably probably what we might see. Well, I mean, I think it's quite a few debateful points, but I think his base pace, base card pace, I think he'd have a lot more. I think he'd be like 97, 98 because he was rapid. Like, if you watch any of the early stuff of Messi... Um, he was insanely rapid, like crazy, crazy fast. But um, yeah, regardless, he'd have a nutty card. Positions, I really don't know what they would go for. He did obviously play a lot. Uh, centre forward, Cam, um, I think striker at some point. Um, obviously right wing, right wing as well. So what they'd choose, I don't know. Maybe one for everything. Maybe Cam to start or centre forward to start. Cam as his mid maybe or striker as his mid. And then go for a right wing as is, is prime. I really don't know. He, he's played all over the place. But it's um crazy, crazy good card. The next one is... The next one is, of course, Cristiano Ronaldo. Now, for de debate's sake, I've gone for the same kind of rating. Um, it would be really weird if EA didn't give them, kind of, I think, the same rating. I think if they gave, like, Ronaldo a 92 and then, like, a 96 and then, obviously, like, a 99... Um, you you would have probably a lot of um, a lot of backlash for that, but uh, you can't deny he would have an insane card as well. And of course, like I said, he is joint best player in the world for me with Messi up there as the goats of football at the moment. Um, so it, it's hard; it's really hard. And obviously, you've got to think about current players you've got in the game, like Pele, Maradona, uh, Cruyff, um, Ronaldo, the R9 Ronaldo. So uh, the <sighs> ratings wise i really don't know are they better or like are they in their prime are they joint up there with pele it it's a it's a big debate and uh, one i think they probably are i think they they are up there with with the pele's and the maradonas if you if you put pele in in modern day football you i think he'd boss it and um 
It might even give a bit more contention to, to Messi and Ronaldo. But that's what I've gone for. And yeah, it, uh, it looks just completely ridiculous. So going back to the, the whole team. Now, obviously, those were just fun. Those were just for curiosity's sake, like I said, and a bit of fun. Let me know what you think. Maybe it could be changed or what you disagree with, what you agree with. Let me know in the comment section below. But uh, as you can see, we've got the team behind me. Let's, un let's unveil the first one, which, of course, is the goalkeeper. Now, I've gone with Dida. There's a lot of contentious place for a goalkeeper position. Like I said, in the, in the future episodes, we'll go through some more ones. But for today, I've chosen Dida. He's always somebody I've kind of idolised in football and somebody I've always really wanted to see in, in the Icon program. You know, every time a new FIFA comes up, I'm always kind of hoping to see him or his name pop up in there somewhere. But it hasn't yet. And whether or not EA will, I don't know. But he, um, you know, back in his AC Milan days, he, he was pff, arguably, he was always, uh, you know, quoted as being one of the best goalkeepers in his era at the time. So he was nutty. He had a few controversial moments, but he, he was crazy, crazy good. So I think um, I'd love to see him. I'd love to see him. Of course, it would add, unfor well, unfortunately, it would add more Brazilian stinker icons to a uh, debate us in in packs but either way you can't deny he would be a class class goalkeeper um so moving onwards swiftly to the first center back position is going to be yap stam now uh i never really got a chance to watch him i think he he played all over the place at united and other places but uh, uh a bit before my time sadly either 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 way um i did do a bit of research and i found that he was you know always quoted as being rapid he had you know strength for days he was just aggressive he was a monster on the pitch so I, I've kind of tried to emulate that with his card I, I mean they all pretty much look the same to be honest but you know being fast being strong and having good defense pretty much I mean that's pretty much what he was what he was about I've given him you know quite a hefty passing and dribbling I don't know if that's accurate or not um, but I think it would make him usable so there we go but there's the first one. So Yapstam goes straight into the team. Uh, very, very good looking card. Now, the next one is an Arsenal legend. Another ex-Arsenal legend. Um, in the way of Tony Adams. He, again, in his era, he was always classed as one of the best uh, English defenders and one of the best defenders, really, in, in his times. Of course, playing for Arsenal does, uh, you know, boost his rating up there quite, quite a lot. It doesn't doesn't do anything but he yeah i think he's um he's in for a shout I, I i don't know really to be honest there's quite a quite a lot of defenders that i think could go you know in front of him like lucio um micon possibly um depending i don't know i don't know but either way he was always classed as one of the one of the best defenders um in his time so yeah i've given him what is his base i can't quite see that it's got an 86 uh, an 89 and 92 i've tried to base a lot of these ratings um even though they are made up i've tried to base them off current icons in the game like bobby moore uh Saul campbell and that kind of stuff like where do these players fictionally rank in my head compared to those are is he better than Saul campbell is he better than bobby moore is he worse it's, it's one of those but um yeah I've kind of put him basically the same as as Saul campbell i think so yeah very very good defender another very uh very good English uh, English centre back, but uh, moving on again to the left back position, which is Patrice Evra. Now uh, he's obviously I don't know debatable. It's one of those. It's like is he is he or was he ever good enough for icon status? I personally th think so. Um, I personally th think so. I think he was incredible. Um, you know when he was obviously playing football because he, he's not anymore, but. Um, it's kind of the point of icons, really. But uh, yeah, I think he was incredible. It's like one of those. It, 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 he was really good, but was he ever really icon worthy? And that's why I think, you know, EA need to add something like Club Legends, where they give maybe lower rated icon cards for players that, you know, are really, really good, but not maybe icon worthy. So, you know, that would be quite good as well. But either way, I've given, obviously, uh, him three icon cards, um, 86 for his base. 88 for his mid and 90 for his prime. Again, trying to judge it off a few other icons like uh, Roberto Carlos, Ashley Cole, that kind of stuff in the game already and uh, kind of try to put him somewhere in the middle. I don't think he was quite ever as good as Roberto Carlos maybe, but I think he possibly was up there with, you know, similar if not better than Ashley Cole 
in my opinion. So yeah, that's where I've uh, that's where I've ranked him, and he goes straight into our team. The next one is I think a shoe in for an icon, and I don't know how he hasn't had one prior because he, in my opinion, is what he was the best right back, um, right wing back uh, in his time, or maybe ever. I don't know. I, that might be a bit of a stretch, but I think he was definitely up there with one of the best right backs. Uh, fullbacks um, of his era and that of course is Cafu um, an incredible Brazilian icon of course he, he played with that incredible Brazilian team in the World Cups uh, with Ronaldo Ronaldinho Kaka um, Rivaldo Roberto Carlos all those incredible legends and it's just like what a nutty team that was and what an insane player Cafu was as well um, so I I don't know how he hasn't got one I really don't Maybe it's something to do with licensing and money and that kind of stuff, and he's just far too expensive. <laughs> wouldn't wouldn't put it past them, but uh, yeah. Crazy good cards, and obviously giving him an 89 as a base, which obviously still looks very, very good. You know, he's got the passing, he's got the physical and defending. Dribbling, maybe not so good, but he's just like, he's rapid. Uh, 91 as his mid, again, still looks very, very good. And of course, 94 just has a completely boss-tastic... Um, uh, icon card. I would, uh, this is the one I think I want the most out of all of them so far. Um, we'll obviously stick him straight in the team. But yeah, I, I think if any icon does come out of these, I really want Cafu. Um, I think he's going to be so expensive on FIFA, but it would just be somebody I'd love to try and work towards. Um, yeah, crazy, crazy good. Now, the next one is starting off with the first player in the midfield is Bobby Charlton. Um, again, another one, I don't quite know how, how he hasn't had an icon card to date. Uh, I don't know. He's he's one of those that should should have an icon card. Definitely. He, he was incredible. He was, um, and I didn't realise this, but he was apparently classed as one of the best players in the world during his time, obviously. So, may have done his rating a little dirty. I've tried to compare it to, like, Skulls, Gerard, Lampard to kind of, like, base it off. And uh, apparently he was he was incredible i don't know he was insane he scored goals like so many goals it's it's just crazy absolutely crazy you'd have thought he he would have played striker but i i, I believe he played midfield again not 100 percent sure but that's where i put him and he still has a very good looking card even for like a 91 still a very very good looking card even though i do think uh he'll be higher rated i don't know i'm just thinking it's like yeah maybe maybe like 93 could be quite fair putting up there as as probably one of the one of the best centre mids, but we'll have to see. I don't know. It's all up to EA. All up to EA and whether or not they uh, they completely trash his card or not. But now the next one is starting off on the right mid is going to be Paul Gascoigne. This one's a debatable one because um, I don't think he was ever that good to, to warrant like actually getting an icon card. Again, this is where I think you know club legends or lower rated icons could come in handy. But um, yeah, I've stuck him in there. Another English midfielder who, again, in my personal opinion, doesn't actually look all that great from what I've, I've kind of dissed my own card design ability. But um, yeah, if he does get a card, I don't think it would be incredibly amazing. He was really good. Don't get me wrong. He was really good during his time, but he was always one of those players that had problems. So he never really, in my opinion, fulfilled his potential. Like at times he was overweight. I think he had like alcohol problems. I don't know if he was involved in drugs or not, but... It kind of comes across like that. Um, so I think he he stunted himself. I think he stunted himself quite a lot and hindered his career. So he didn't didn't become this world beater that I think uh, maybe he should have. But either way, uh, I'd still like to see him in the game. I think he's an iconic player, an iconic name in football that um, that probably should should get in there. But if he does, I just I, I'm predicting. I don't think he will have that good of a card. I think I've been quite generous, giving him a 92 higher than Bobby Charlton. I think that could be, um, you know, you could see like an 80, 85 base, 87 mid, and maybe like an 89 prime, possibly. Moving swiftly on to the left mid is going to be the moustache man himself, Rivellino. No idea if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Rivellino, Rivellino, not sure. Another Brazilian icon who, again, was incredible during his time. I think everybody can say that about every icon, but... Uh, I believe he was the player that um, invented the flip-flap skill move 
Now, I think I believe that was him. I could be I could be mistaken for the other Brazilian icon in the in the team in a second, but uh, yeah, I believe he he invented it, and obviously other players like Ronaldinho uh, and all those other skillful players they kind of um, inherited it off him. So I believe he invented it, and that could I think that that would be a really fun reason just to put him in the game, like the inventor of a skill move. That'd be really cool. That'd be really cool. And of course, he has an incredible mustache as well. Like, you can't say no to that. It's Prime Icon card. If I do say so my, myself, looks absolutely incredible. You know, that picture, just everything. I think it all just works. And he'd be a really fun player to use. You know, it's one of those. It's like uh, Lev Yashin. It's one of those players you, you want to get just to see what he's like in game. So I think that could be really good fun. But um, yeah, he goes straight into the team as well. Now, moving on to the right mid. Um, and this is the one I kind of messed up on because I wanted to make his prime like a like a, a left mid or I think that's where he played partly in his career. But it is none other than Zico. Uh, he's an old school Brazilian legend in my opinion. I can't remember exactly what period he, he actually played in, but uh, it was quite a while ago. And um, yeah, it'd be good to have some more Brazilian. I don't know. Do we need more Brazilian icons? But it'd be quite good to have some more in there. Um, either way, he um, I believe he played midfield left wing partly in his career so I kind of wanted to do similar to um, Ronaldinho and just make his prime left mid but I completely forgot either way he has a very very good looking card all throughout his career um, you know handsome handsome bastard very very good looking either way he goes goes straight into the team with this 92 prime icon card now moving on to the striker this is one that I really hope happens for FIFA 22 because he was always somebody I loved watching. Uh, I never got to watch too much of him unfortunately at Barcelona but uh, from what I did watch and obviously highlights I've seen of reruns of games and replays uh, like he, he's just he was just a talent and he was such an incredible player to watch. Of course that is none other than David Villa. Um, again I've tried to base his card similarly off Fernando Torres and what EA have done to Fernando because I feel like EA did Fernando Torres a little dirty I feel like he had um you know I feel like he was a lot better than what his FIFA cards actually do portray but I've tried to kind of, kind of go off that kind of same vibe either way um I I think he's still got an incredible incredible looking card he, he's I don't know he's one of those players that has just been everywhere done everything kind of thing he, he, like just a natural goal scorer obviously if you watch him at Barcelona you'll know that he was he was quick you know, he had passing ability. Obviously, being in that Barcelona team, I think everybody has to have passing ability because um, that's all they did. They just played ticky-tack football. I think that was the mentality of Barca, wasn't it? It always has been that, you know, everyone does everything. They can shoot, they can pass, all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, um, that's kind of what I've tried to emulate on his card, giving him good passing ability. He's got, obviously got incredible shooting, really good pace, dribbling, physicals. Um, he wasn't a slouch. He was He was strong quick he just did everything he was one of those players that was just a menace on the pitch and obviously like i said a real joy to watch so i really do hope and i pray that he does get an icon card because that would be really good fun it'd be really expensive and really hard to get but um it'd be really really good and i really hope ea um i really hope what i've done here is a dis disjustice and hopefully they they make his card a lot better than what i've done because um yeah it'll be insane either way Moving on to, I believe this is our last one as well. That, of course, is going to be none other, none other than Francesco Totti. Um, yeah, again, another one. I don't know how, how he hasn't had an icon card in FIFA. Obviously, his last card in FIFA was that end of era where he's holding up that, what was it, like a plaque, was it, from Roma when he left? Because, obviously, he, he only played at Roma. I believe it was a one, he was a one-club legend. Pretty astonishing, and... You know, it's a feat in itself. Not a lot of players, not a lot of players do that, and not a lot of players, you know, reach the the success and uh, the talent that he had. Again, I think I've done it a somewhat disjustice looking back on it. Um, an 88, I think, is is way too low. But obviously, for his base, you you've got to start somewhere. And I like, I never got to watch him in his early days of his career. It's more just kind of in his later stage, during his prime and maybe his past prime. But uh, yeah. His base 88 still looks incredible. I was debating where he actually played as well. 
this is another talking point like you know a lot of these icons where did they actually play and what kind of positions they might have on their cards just looking at that prime card i'm getting a bit of a hard on to be fair it's uh it's it's pretty good to be fair and i'm pretty pretty proud of how it's turned out to be fair the uh yeah the whole card just looks insanely insanely good and it would be really good to have more competitive really good uh italian icons in the game um and this is no like you know dissing italian icons there there's a few good ones you've got zambrotta you've got um del piero um but besides that like the other italian icons aren't all that desirable you know if you see someone pack a zola it's like oh you know zola or um vieri or i can't remember the other name of them pirlo even pirlo isn't that desirable in the game and he's like one of the you know one of those iconic iconic players but uh yeah it'd be good to have some more really good italian icons in the game and i think totti would be up there with um with one of the best i don't know i don't know if he'd rival the likes of del piero but i think he'd be up there crazy crazy looking card and there we go he goes straight into the team as the 11th man which completes our 11 man icon squad crazy stuff crazy crazy stuff um but yeah, there we go. So there's how there's how the icon team looks. Um, I know it's probably a slightly long video and me just talking and saying how oh this guy's really good. I really hope he gets an icon. But um, hopefully you did enjoy. Of course, going going through a run through. We've got uh, Dida in goal. We've got Yapstam and Adams. Our two centre backs. Full backs are Patrice Evra, Cafu, Paul Gascoigne, Bobby Charlton, and Rivellino. Um, Rivellino makes up our midfield with the front three of Zico. David Villa and Francesco Torti. Um, so there's there's my first 11 man icon team. Like I said, I've got hundreds of the, these icons that are, you know potentially could be icons in the future. So definitely expect more episodes of this. If you'd like to see more of these, please do let me know in the comment section below. Um, drop it a like if you enjoyed it as well. Um, and of course, like I said in the beginning of the video, if you have any icons that you'd like to see personally from yourself uh, in this series or even in FIFA, do it, drop it in the comment section below and we can uh, include it in the future episodes. But for now, uh, that's where we're gonna that's where we're gonna end it. So, but yeah, so there we go. There is the end of today's video. Like I said, hopefully you have enjoyed. If you have, please do drop it a like. That'd be very, very much appreciated. Um, yeah, it took me a while to make these graphics. It, uh, I didn't quite realize the extent after I started making the first three and realized, oh shit, it's actually, uh, it's actually gonna take me fucking ages, but it was worth it. Hopefully it was worth it in the end. I. Uh, I really enjoyed how they how they all came out. So, of course, if you did enjoy the video, enjoyed something slightly different, um, do let me know in the comment section below. And of course, like I said, about three or four times, do do drop it a like. That'd be very very much appreciated. Um, and of course, if you haven't already and you're new around here, please do consider hitting that subscribe button and become part of the exclusive family. But with that said, I do hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, we'll see you next time.